It's 11 trivia questions on the book and movie and TV show MASH as written by listener Ian Schultze. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. If you like today's episode, go and listen to 700 other episodes. The Apple Podcasts app goes back 300 episodes. And since it comes out every day, you can go back almost a full year. And if you want even more episodes of the show, just search any topic and the words Trivia with Buds and you'll come across a podcast I did on that thing. We've done 700 different things at this point. So if we haven't covered your topic, let me know in an email and I will try and get to it. RyanBuds at gmail.com. That's what happened today. My friend Ian, who listens to the show, he uh, sent me an email. He said, hey, I don't think you've ever done MASH trivia. So I wrote 11 questions and here you go. Hope you can use them on the show. He said, uh, I don't know if it's in your spreadsheet, but I put together a few questions on the MASH franchise. I broke up the questions between the book, the film, and the TV series, with most of the questions being about the series, since I think that will be the better known piece of the franchise. So with no further ado, here they are. We're going to jump into those questions in just a minute. If you're watching along on YouTube, you can see a giant box of Funko cereal that I have my hand on right now, and it is of Miguel from Coco, the Pixar movie, one of my favorites. The first movie we took my daughter to go see in theaters, so that one will always be near and dear to my heart. We're giving away this Funko cereal tonight if you're watching live or on the day this came out, and you can win this box of Funko cereal at Last Name Brewing in Upland, California. I'll be hosting trivia there myself tonight at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time, and would love to see you. And have a bunch of great rounds on Nintendo Sports, quotes from the TV show The Office, American version, What's the Hidden Word, and a little something called Marvel Actors that my friend Luke McKay helped out with. We also close things out with a thing called the Confidence Round, which you may have heard on the show, where we have 10 totally random questions that you have to rank your answers to, 10 to 1, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, and uh, whatever you write next to the answer, if it's right, that's how many points you get. So you can get up to 55 points on the Confidence Round. It's a ton of fun, and you can play with me at last name tonight or any of my different trivia venues on my website. Go to TriviaWithBuds.com, and you can see where I'm hosting Bingo, where I'm hosting Trivia, or where I'm hosting one of my new Buzzers with Buds event. I just bought this whole buzzer system and next week on the recordings I'll be trying it out showing you guys exactly how I'll be implementing it into my repertoire. So we're going to jump in to 11 questions on MASH from Ian right about now. Here we go. All right 11 questions on MASH. We're diving into them. Thank you for writing these Ian and have fun playing along. Question number one. The TV show MASH was based on the movie, which was based on the book. The full title of the book is MASH, a novel about three army doctors. The book was written by two people, one of whom was an actual MASH doctor. What is the pen name of the authors of the book? What is the pen name of the authors of the book? Question number two. What director with five-time Oscar nominations directed the film version of MASH. Who directed the film version of MASH? Question number three. Who was the only major character to be played by the same actor in both the movie and the TV show? Question number three. Who was the only major character to be played by the same actor in both the movie and the TV show? Question number four, though he stopped wearing them in later seasons, what character from the TV show is known for wearing dresses? Who used to wear dresses? Number four. Question number five, MASH took place during the Korean War. The TV series aired for 11 seasons. Though North and South Korea have still not signed a peace treaty, how long did the Korean War last? How many years was that? Number five. Question number six, an instrumental version of the theme song was used for the TV series because the creators felt the lyrics were too dark for a primetime comedy TV show. What is the title of the theme song? Question number seven, the final episode of the series set many records and made many top ten lists. It had more viewers than Super Bowl, 
of that year and the Roots mini series. And it remains the most watched finale of any TV series. What is the name of that episode? What is the name of the final episode of MASH? Four questions left to go. Here's number eight. A spinoff of the movie and not the show was named after one of the lead characters. What was the name of this medical series which lasted for seven seasons? Question number nine. Breaking things up with what should be an easy one. The most obvious question. What does MASH stand for? What does MASH stand for? Question number 10, during all the scenes where the doctors are operating, what standard piece or aspect of U.S. TV comedy shows will you not hear? What is absent when they are uh, doing the operations? Number 10. And question number 11, the bonus question. The TV show had several now notable actors play guest parts. These included Leslie Nielsen, John Ritter, and Patrick Swayze, among many others. What actor appeared on the show but is probably better known for playing a leading role on Happy Days? Question number 11, who appeared on Happy Days and this show? Those are all your questions for Ian's MASH quiz today. Thank you, Ian, and thank you guys for listening and playing along. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers. We are back with the answers to MASH trivia. I hope you had fun playing along with these questions from my friend Ian Schultze. Here's question number one. The TV show MASH was based on the book, which was uh, based on the movie, which was based on the book. And the full title is MASH, a novel about three army doctors. What is the pen name of the authors of the book? Richard Hooker. Question number one, the answer was Richard Hooker. Tough one, off the bat. Question number two, what director with five-time Oscar nominations directed the film version of MASH? That would be Mr. Robert Altman of uh, one of my favorite movies, Shortcuts fame, Robert Altman. Question number three, who was the only major character to be played by the same actor in both the movie and the TV show? That would be Radar, Corporal Walter Radar O'Reilly. Question number four, though he stopped wearing them in the later seasons, which character from the TV show is known for wearing dresses? That would be Jamie Farr's Max Klinger. Corporal Klinger. Question number five, MASH took place during the Korean War. How long did that war last? The answer they were looking for there, three years. Three years. Question number six, an instrumental version of the theme song was used for the TV series because the creators felt the lyrics were too dark for primetime comedy. What was the title of the theme song? Suicide is Painless. That is kind of a dark titled song. Question number six. Question number seven, the final episode of the series set many records. What is the name of the episode? Goodbye, farewell, and amen. Goodbye, farewell, and amen. Question number eight, a spinoff of the movie and not the show was named after one of the lead characters. What was the name of the medical series that lasted for seven seasons? That was Trapper John, MD. Trapper John, MD. I don't think I've ever seen an episode of Trapper John, to my knowledge, but I've seen a lot of MASH episodes. Number nine, what does MASH stand for? Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. I would have maybe been able to get that one. Uh, As I was reading it, I'm like, wait, what does it stand for? And I knew like half of it. Number 10, during all the scenes where the doctors are operating, you'll never hear a laugh track. That was a key choice of the creators of the show. No laugh track during the surgeries. And number 11, who from Happy Days appeared on this show at some point? That was Ron Howard. Ron Howard, great actor and director, Ron Howard. All right. Thank you again, Ian, for writing those questions and sending them my way. I appreciate it. If you're listening and you want to send me some questions, you can do that anytime. Find me on social media at Ryan Buds on just about everything or hit me up on email, ryanbuds at gmail.com. It's time for the question of the day. You can send me the answer to this question on social media or email to be eligible for a prize. And we have the question, what movie had the quote, you can't handle the truth? What famous movie had the quote, you can't handle the truth? If you know the answer, send it my way, and you'll be entered to win a raffle. Your yesterday's question of the day answer was Los Del Rio for the group who had the Macarena. And your trivia team name of today is Chatty Kathy Bates. Chatty Kathy dolls, where you pull the string and they talk, and Kathy Bates mixed up together for Chatty Kathy Bates. That's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with me. Cheers. 